Alright guys, time for another collection update. Uh, this is going to be March 2014 and as you can see that last month I wore the same shirt. It's kind of funny because um, last month I did it with uh, Benjamin Evil but he's not online and yeah I just thought I'd do it on my own otherwise we're just going to be wasting time like last month. So anyway, collection update and Ooh. Just to quickly say that I do apologise on the way I'm talking because I've had the stuffy nose since yesterday. It's not really like a sore throat or anything, it's just kind of like, it's okay, but you know, it's just mostly the stuffy nose, it's just annoying me. But I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. So I've got three DVDs here, which I'm going to start off. I've also got 15 WWE DVDs and I've got nine games. Uh, one of them, for in which I cannot play, which I'll explain once I go through the games. But um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of got it for nothing. But I thought I'd just add it to collection anyway. Otherwise, even though I can't even play it, so um, let's try to get through all the uh, all the stuff here. And I just want to quickly um. I do apologise because I'm quickly on Facebook and I'm just talking to someone, so um, yeah. And I also might sneeze in the video as well, so I apologise. Right, so let's just get right down to it. So I've got three DVDs here, um, two of them which I got from one guy, the other one I got from like another guy, so um. Yeah, let's just get right down to it. So the first one here, I got, and I saw it for the very first time, and I know this movie was just like, oh, it just went down the hill, um, for what my brother said when he watched this. It's like, I, s I said to him, oh, I'm watching this movie, and he goes, oh, it's shit. I was like, really? But um, I do like his other movies. I, f I thought they were quite funny, so... Um, the, the movie here I got was The Dictator, this here being, uh, this also has the um, theatrical cut and the extended cut as well, so um, you can choose whether to watch the theatrical, theatrical or the extended cut, and I watched it the extended cut. Um, I didn't mind this at all, I think, I kind of agree with my, uh, with my brother in this, it's not the best uh, such a Baron Cohen movie. I mean, like the one I like the most is Borat because you know I think Borat just stands out on the way he acts. Bruno, not again, not the best movie in the world. Um, also goes with Ali G. I don't mind Ali G. I uh, have seen a few of the uh, the Ali G show, um, you know, back in the day. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd get the Dictator, even though it was cheap. So. Um, yeah, that's another one added to my uh, collection. Now the other one I got from him, I also watched this for the very first time, and um, oh my god, I, I kind of like this movie. Let me just say that, and it also scared me to hell when you see, uh, you know, the f this fin running at you, and I got the woman in black. A big fan of Daniel Radcliffe who of course, main character in the Harry Potter movies, um, which reminds me, I still have not seen Deathly Hallows Part 2, which I will pick up at some point. Anyway, uh, The Woman in the Black, really enjoyed it a lot. Um, like I said, one scene which is very creepy, where it all goes black, and then you see the creepy face running at you, screaming at you in the face. Yeah, I kind of shit myself on that, but anyway, a good movie, I really liked it. Um, pretty cheesy. Um, well, it's not that cheesy, um, but yeah, I do like stuff which is kind of involved with ghosts and paranormal stuff, even though paranormal activity was is pretty shit now. I mean, the first one was good, second one was okay, then the third one, and after all that, it just got so ridiculous. But um, yeah, other than that, I really like this. And now the next movie, now I did see bits and pieces of this on TV, I must have watched like half of the movie, 
um, on TV a couple of times, but not the whole thing. So I picked this up, watched it, enjoyed it, and um, you know it's a it's a Mike Myers movie, so I can't say no to this. And I got so I married an axe murderer. Really like this a lot. Big Michael Myers fan. Um, you know, it, it's Michael Myers. I have to see it. I had to see this. You know, really like this a lot. I can't say no to this. Enough said. Really like this. I recommend that you guys check this out because it's actually so good. That's all the DVDs, and I do apologise once again. Uh, still on Facebook. Wow. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, now we're going to move on with the uh, wrestling DVDs. Right. Um, now let me just say, two, two of the DVDs, which I don't have, which I'm going to show you, um, two of them were supposed to come to me three weeks ago. I won two DVDs from the same guy on the 1st of March, right? <laughs> Took him six days to reply because I asked him, oh, can you combine postage? Well, guess what? He doesn't know how to combine postage, so I sent to him the instructions of what he has to do. No reply whatsoever. So I'm going to say to the guy, fuck you, you took this amount of time to respond. You know, you know, I hate it when people don't even respond, you know, it's like, can you combine postage? It takes him like six fucking days to respond and then doesn't respond back. I'll just say, fuck you. Just keep them. I'll just buy them off somewhere else. Because, you know, that's just, it's just ridiculous. But uh, if he does reply back to me, I'm just going to say, I don't want them anymore. I've already got them. Even though I don't have them, but still. It's just so ridiculous. But anyway, other than that, um, go through all these DVDs here, two of them which I have factory sealed which is pretty good so um, let's get right down to it, so the first one here I do remember having the second one but I don't know what happened to it so um, I picked up the first one because I didn't have it at the time so I got it anyway this is just uh, talking about you know um, just interviews on on their life and you know just before they become uh, WWE superstars. So I got the um, before they were WWE superstars number one. I did have number two, but I don't know what the hell happened to it. So if I do find number two, I'll pick it up. And um, yeah, it's got got a good lineup. So I'm really excited to see like the history of um, you know the Hardys, Lita, Edge and Christian, Kurt Angle. You got Al Snow in there as well. Uh, Badass Billy Gunn, so I cannot wait to sit down and watch this because I really enjoyed the second one, which had people like Brock Lesnar um, and other superstars, you know. But uh, yeah, had to pick it up. The next one here, I do have this on VHS, so this is to replace my VHS copy, which I will be putting on eBay soon. Uh, really glad that um, I've got the DVD copy now, which also comes with a boatload of. Um, extra matches, well eight matches, and I got Degeneration X. I do remember sitting down and watching this on VHS a lot. Don't have a VHS playing no more, so I had to pick up the DVD version. Really glad that um, I have this now, so I can get rid of my VHS copy. Um, for those that are in the UK, if you do collect WWE DVDs or VHS tapes, feel free to uh, check out the listing as I put the VHS copy on my eBay soon. So again had to pick it up and really glad that I have this in my collection. Uh, the next one here oh, I can't believe I'm snotty. Sorry guys. Sorry if I just pick my nose a lot because it's snotty. I can't help it. Should have got a tissue for this but you know. So the next one here I only watched this too um, which was yesterday and um, yeah, it's got a good lineup of matches on here. Some of the matches which I don't know, uh, like from Smash Mouth Wrestling, oh Smoky Mountain Wrestling, sorry, 
uh, you got the Texas Death Match uh, from November to Remember. You got Spring Stampede, um, ECW, WCW. Got one from Royal Rumble 2000, and I got Mick Foley's Greatest Hits and Misses. Really like this a lot. Of course, the one that stands out: Mankind vs. The Undertaker at the Hell in a Cell, which was very that number one of the. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the most bizarre matches in history. That was an insane match. I really like this a lot. Um, I am a fan of Mick Foley, not the biggest fan. I do like him as a legend. Um, I do have one of his books which is called Foley is Good, um, which I have read. Would like to read that again, but um, yeah, I'm, I am a Mick Foley fan, so I had to pick this up. I couldn't say no to this. Um, really like all the matches on here, um, especially Mankind vs. Undertaker and Mankind vs. Rock when he first won the uh, WWE title. So, um, like I said, had to pick it up. I've only watched this two. I will watch this one soon. But, uh, yeah, not really familiar with the matches that he's been in. Um, but, yeah, I will sit down and watch the uh, ECW WCW matches. So, yeah. <laughs> The next one here, uh, watch this for the very first time, it comes with another uh, bonus disc of uh, WWE Confidential Volume 1, uh, which I've not even watched, but you know, I've got Volume 1 of WWE Confidential now, along with this DVD. And the DVD uh, that I got here is SummerSlam 2004. The pay-per-view where Randy Orton won the World Heavyweight title from Chris Benoit. You've got JBL versus The Undertaker. Uh, didn't mind this pay-per-view a lot. I think I did like the Orton versus Benoit match. Um, what else was there? You've got Booker T versus John Cena where it's like the best of five series for the like undisputed United States title. You've got Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. That was an okay match. Um, but yeah, didn't have this, so I thought I'd pick it up anyway. And kind of nice that I got WWE Confidential Volume One with this as well. I'll just throw that in the bin, right? And the next one here, I just watched this today. Uh, only the first disc. I will get around to watching this too with the uh, extras, and I. And I watched uh, Vengeance 2006, uh, where DX uh, reunited to take on the Spirit Squad. You got Kurt Angle vs. Orton, Mick Farrelly vs. Ric Flair, uh, Kane vs. The Imposter Kane, which we all know that uh, The Imposter Kane was uh, Festus, or known as Luke Gallows. Um, Rob Van Dam vs. Edge, which was an okay match, I guess. But, um, yeah. Um, Really been looking for this for the longest time now. Glad that I have this in the collection. <laughs> the next one here, not the best pay per view, but um, I had to pick it up. Only because the first ever Punjabi prison match. Um, supposed to have Carly in the match, but it didn't happen anyways. But they replaced it with the big show. And that is Great American Bash Japan 6, where Rey Mysterio lost the World Heavyweight title to Kim Booker, or Booker T. Uh, first ever Punjabi prison match. Uh, quite like that, as well as uh, Batista vs Kennedy, just brutally destroyed Kennedy. Um, yeah, not the best pay per view of all, but um, had to pick it up. Uh, this one I saw almost a month ago. Uh, would have to sit down and watch this again. I did like the Undertaker vs Mark Henry match, uh, the, f the triple threat match for the World to Rate title. You got. Um, there's a no disqualification match, but only for one certain superstar. But yeah, I had to pick this up, and that is Unforgiven 2007. Undertaker returns to face uh, Mark Henry. You got Cena versus Orton, in which turned out uh, Cena got disqualified, and Cena's dead come out and just used the punt kick on uh, on Orton, which was which was so funny. Um, World Heavyweight Title match with Carly. Batista and Mysterio was okay, but um, yeah, I just had to pick it up. 
<laughs> most of these, most of these titles here, I just thought, yeah, I had to pick that up because I didn't have these. The next one here, I do have a copy of this, but um, mine had problems with it, so I had to pick another copy up. Um, haven't watched this yet, and that is Backlash 2008. Uh, good lineup of matches here. You got uh, On the Take of Us Edge, uh, which was pretty interesting. You got Orton versus Cena versus Triple H versus JBL. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Batista, which was an okay match. You got Big Show versus Carly. Yeah, it was an okay pay per view. Uh, didn't mind this a lot, but uh, yeah, I've had, I'd pick it up anyway. Another one here I have not even watched yet, but I would sit down and watch the chamber matches, and that is No Way Out 2009. Uh, you've got the WWE title Elimination Chamber with Edge, Triple H, Undertaker. Jeff Hardy, Big Show and Vladimir Kozlov and the world title you've got Cena, Mysterio, Kane, Jericho, Edge and Mike Knox as well as Orton versus Shane McMahon and Shawn Michaels versus JBL um, you've also got Dax Swagger versus Finley for the ECW title but not the best pay per view, did like the chamber matches of, of course but uh, yeah Here's another one which I have not watched. Uh, the disc is in my DVD player, which I'll watch later on. Uh, that is Backlash 2009. I forgot to say this one's uh, No Way Out 2009. I got mixed up, sorry. So uh, I have not even seen a single match on here. Uh, you got um, a six man tag team match. Um, what the hell is this? Yeah, six man tag match for the WWE title was like what? But apparently it was uh, Triple H versus Orton, and whoever which team won, they will win the title for either Triple H or Orton. So you got Orton with uh, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase with uh, versus Triple H with Batista and Shane McMahon, and you also got Ricky Jones and Steamboat versus Jericho, which I can't wait to see. Um, the I Quit match with Jeff and Matt Hardy and also the last man standing match for the world title which I can't wait to see with Cena and Edge so like I said I do have a disc in my DVD player which I'll watch a bit later on and hold on a second once again now the next two DVDs here are factory sealed, I'm not even open these yet. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, been eyeing this up for the longest time, I know this is cheap anyway, but I had to pick this up. Including that it was factory sealed, and that is the WWE Attitude Collection TLC Tables, Ladders and Chairs. Not much I can say about it. Uh, I don't mind the TLC matches, it's like one of my top five favourite matches I guess. But um, yeah, had to pick that up. And the other pay per view, I've not even watched this besides the. Um, or, or was it 2011 that I watched? Yeah, it, it was 2011 Money in the Bank that I watched. Uh, I haven't seen 2010 Money in the Bank, but can't wait to see this. And that is Money in the Bank uh, 2010. So um, I kind of gave that away. <laughs> but, um, yeah, good lineup of matches here, uh, Money in the Bank matches. So yeah, uh, this one I watched a few weeks ago, uh, one of them being that I've already seen one match from it before I picked up this DVD. Uh, the other matches on the other hand, uh, the tag team terminal match was okay, got the unification match uh, for the Divas and Women's title, uh, Undertaker vs Kane in the No Holds Barred match. So. Uh, Night Champions 2010. It's not a bad pay per view. Did like the uh, tag turtle match and the six pack challenge, but uh, also um, the Miz versus Daniel Bryan for the US title. That was a good match as well. So yeah. Oh Jesus! Really hate this running nose now. <laughs> We're almost done. Then the next pay per view that we have is uh, Bragging Rights. 2010. 
This one being um, if Cena didn't let Wade Barrett win the title, he would have to be fired, in which uh, Cena attacked Barrett, which uh, he got fired, but you know. So um, I didn't mind the Buried Alive match with Kane and Undertaker, which obviously Nexus come out and let Kane win the match. You've also had um, uh, Nexus came out to, uh, you know, fight off Cena. You've got, uh, you had Cena in another match for the tag team titles and he had uh, to team up against, uh, he had to team up with Otunga to face Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre for the titles. Um, another match which I didn't mind was Goldust vs Ted DiBiase and you got the uh, SmackDown vs Raw 7 on 7 tag team elimination match with uh, The Miz, Sheamus, Punk, Morrison, Truth, Ezekiel Jackson and Santino who took on Big Show, Edge, Rey Mysterio, Kofi Kingston, Jack Swagger, Alberto Del Rio and Tyler Rex. Not the bad pay per view, I did like the, uh, the tag team elimination match as well as um, Daniel Bryan vs Dolph Ziggler, that, that was a good match as well, so yeah. And the next one, I just picked it up because, you know, I just thought I'd get it just to check it out. Um, will I enjoy this? I don't know, but um, they're just talking about, um, this is kind of like a rare look, and just finding out if the wrestling is real. And they also sit down with people like Tito Santana, and yeah, yeah. Don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this, but uh, I got WWE Unauthorized, which is a uh, totally unofficial and uncensored, not authorized or sanctioned by the WWE. Just to show you the, uh, the disc here. That's it. That's that's what the disc is like. Am I gonna enjoy this? I don't know, but um. I just pick it up because it was cheap, but uh, I will sit down and watch this and uh, probably uh, do a little review on this at some point. So yeah, so that's all the WWE DVDs. Now I'm just going to go on with the last stack here of uh, of games. Um, one of them which I can't play, so I might as well get that one out of the way first. Uh, the reason being is that this game is online only and their server shut down. Uh, just at the end of uh, January, so I cannot play this whatsoever. So I pretty much spent uh, two pounds fifty pence for nothing. But uh, I thought I did to collection anyway, and that is Mag. Never played the demo, never played the game. Always wanted to ch check this out, but it's kind of a shame that uh, Mag servers are shut down now. So um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought I had this the collection anyway, as you can see. Uh, there's no instruction booklet, just a disc. But yeah, once again, it's a shame that I uh, cannot play this now, because the online servers are shut down. But um, yeah, just thought I'd get it. Then the next one here. I'm not a big fan of driving games, but I thought I'd pick it up. And that is the uh, Ferrari Challenge uh, Trofeo... Ferrelli, if I'm pronouncing that right. So yeah, nothing to say about that. Another one that I have here, uh, not a big fan of these uh, racing games as well. I do have 2010, I've only played for like 5 minutes, but I thought I'd get uh, the next year's version, and that is Formula 1 2011. Like I said, not, not much to say about this, because I had 2010, and I thought I'd get 2011. So, uh, yeah. Now this one, I have one from this one guy, he marked it as dispatch, this was supposed to come to me, I won this item on the 5th of March, it's supposed to come to me on the 10th, if it didn't come it said the 12th, so I said to him, um, you know, I was still interested in this item, there was no response, so I told, I put it up to uh, eBay in which they just gave me a refund so I got it somewhere else and um, I bought the first one last, mu last month so I thought I'd get the second one 
Um, and yeah, I got this for cheap as well. So I got Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Uh, haven't played the first one yet. I know it, it, the controllers feel weird from what I've been told, but uh, I'd, I'd pick up the second one because I got the first one last month. So yeah. This one I have. Uh, not a big fan of the uh, movies. I'm not going to be seeing the uh, the seventh movie, which comes out at the end of next year. But um, I have played some of the games. But uh, yeah, currently playing this at the moment. I'm kind of stuck on this one particular boss fight. So I've got Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. Not much to say about this. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. The only Star Wars movies which I watched was uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, or was it Attack of the Clones? The second one? I'm not too sure. And I know people are going to be pissed. I quite liked The Phantom Menace. Let me just put it out there. I liked The Phantom Menace. Let's just move on because I know people are going to get pissed off now. And this is why I do not watch, you know, Star Wars movies. I've only watched like the first and second one. Okay, so the next one here, I've been looking at this for the longest time, not even played this yet, and that is Battlefield 3. I know I'm kind of late to pick this up, I know Battlefield 4 I can pick up for quite cheap now, which, which I might actually uh, pick up at some point, so um, yeah, I've got Battlefield 3. Another one I have here, um, did this come with any codes? Yeah, I got um, the code for the online pass, so that was quite good. Uh, I got Medal of Honor Warfighter, not the greatest game, but um, I did play the uh, the reboot, so I thought I'd pick up Warfighter, because it was on my list. This is awesome, I, was managed, I managed to uh, get... Let's see. Uh, this also came with like a 30 day pl PlayStation Plus trial, but it expired, so that was a shame. Um, I managed to get uh, a DLC pack and a passcode, which was pretty awesome. Uh, can't wait to sit down and play this. I will pick up the HD Trilogy soon. And that game is Hitman Absolution. Watched the playthrough from someone, really enjoyed it. Cannot wait to sit down and play this. Uh, I have played the other Hitman games, so I cannot wait to pick up the HD Trilogy and play them remade in HD so pretty glad that I have this in the collection now so um so yeah let's pick it up and finally uh, after a couple people have asked me to pick up this game and I got the limited edition of this so I cannot wait to sit down and play this game did this have any codes at all no it didn't so I got limited edition of Sleeping Dogs. Cannot wait to sit down and play this. Uh, heard great things about this. I, I will be picking up the DLC as well um, at some point. So yeah, so I got finally got Sleeping Dogs in my collection. Not much to say about some of these uh, games, but uh, really, really glad that I picked up these items as well as the wrestling DVDs, as it as my Wrestling DVD collection is growing, as well as my game collection. Um, so yeah, that is about it. Um, I do apologise with like all the runny nose and rubbing my nose. You know, it's it's disgusting. I know, but um, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching my collection update for March 2014. See you guys for next month's collection update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.